the internet has become the most important device for revealing the truth, uh, at least since the beginning of the printing press. It has become the number one antidote to TV. Democracies are always lied into war. The Iraq war was a result of lies. The increase in involvement in the United States in Vietnam was a result of the Gulf of Tonkin incident, another lie. It's not just lies by intelligence analysts, it's lies by the big media machine. And what is in the big media machine? Well, it's, it's the various institutions that get too comfortable and too close to the table of power, the very table that they are meant to be reporting on and policing and getting into the historic record. Now, working against that trend and against that current of corrupt, powerful organisations uh, producing a distorted perspective of the world has been the internet. For the first time in history, that has allowed one person with some truth to speak to every single person who wants to hear that truth. Se encuentra a más de 15.000 kilómetros de distancia de su casa, Australia. Encerrado en un territorio, el de Ecuador, dentro de otro territorio, el Reino Unido. En un hogar que se ha convertido en su prisión. En este rincón de Londres, en la Embajada de Ecuador, se esconde el enemigo número uno de Estados Unidos, Julian Assange. Dicen que la curiosidad es el aspecto emocional que engendra la exploración, la investigación y el aprendizaje. Pero todo se complica cuando los interrogantes se trasladan al futuro. Ahora se están abriendo nuevos horizontes y se anuncian cambios enormes. Todos somos conscientes de que estamos diciendo adiós a un mundo y que otro se está fraguando a gran velocidad. Si pudiéramos desplazar un enviado especial a ese futuro, ¿con qué nos encontraríamos? Por eso, con mi penúltima energía profesional, me propongo viajar a esa frontera para conocer y escuchar a quienes están diseñando el nuevo tiempo. Voy a dejar al descubierto mi bendita curiosidad para intentar desentrañar esa gran incógnita. ¿Cómo será el mundo cuando ya no esté? Wars and we see corrupt governments continue on. One of the hopeful things that I have discovered is that nearly every war that has started in the past 50 years has been a result of media lies. The media could have stopped it if they had searched deep enough, if they hadn't um, reprinted government propaganda, they could have stopped it. But what does that mean? Well, that means basically populations don't like wars. And populations have to be fooled into wars. Populations don't willingly and op with open eyes go into a war. So if we have a good media environment, then we'll also have a peaceful environment. It really is my, my opinion that the media in general are so bad, um, we would have to question whether the world wouldn't be better off now, without Now, we can altogether. say that the United States has information that Russia is planning to stage fabricated attacks by Ukrainian military or intelligence forces as a pretext for a further invasion of Ukraine. One possible option the Russians are considering, and which we made public today, involves the production of a propaganda video, a video with graphic scenes of false explosions, depicting cor corpses, crisis actors pretending to be mourners, and images of destroyed locations or military equipment, entirely fabrica fabricated by Russian intelligence. What evidence do you have to support the idea that there is some propaganda film in the, in, in the making 
Matt, this is derived uh, from information known to the U.S. government, intelligence information that we have declassified. I think you well, know. Okay, well, where, where is it? Where, where is this information? It is intelligence information that we have declassified. Well, where is it? Where is the declassified information? I just delivered it. No, you made a series of allegations and would statements. You, would you like us to print out the topper? Because you will see a transcript of this briefing that you can print out for but yourself. That's not evidence, Ned. That's you saying it. That's not evidence. I'm sorry. <laughs> what would you like, Matt? I, I would like to see some proof that you that 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 that, that, that you can show that that. Matt, you have that, been that, that shows you, that 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 you, shows that the Russians are doing this. And 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 if you can't provide any evidence. Other than, well, I said so, and so it's a fact, that's a problem. Matt, there's a second point. Uh, this is derived from intelligence. Intelligence in which uh, we well, have confidence, we, in which we have confidence. The otherwise, same confidence you had in, in, in WMD. Otherwise, in Iraq. Otherwise, I mean, what, what, otherwise, we would not be making it public in the way we are. Uh, but here's, here's the other point. Um, intelligence and evidence, uh, these are two separate things. Uh, it is uh, yeah, no. But you're, but you're saying it's a fact, and that, it, that you have proof, and then you can't offer any proof, and to, to, to show that it's fact, I'll drop it. But I think we Thank should you. move. Uh, Russia had previously outlined its concerns and proposals in writing, and last week I told Foreign Minister Lavrov that the United States would do the same. Today, Ambassador Sullivan delivered our written response in Moscow. All told, it sets out a serious diplomatic path forward should Russia choose it. The document we've delivered includes concerns of the United States and our allies and partners about Russia's actions that undermine security, a principled and pragmatic evaluation of the concerns that Russia has raised, and our own proposals for areas where we may be able to find common ground. We make clear that there are core principles that we are committed to uphold and defend, including Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity, and the right of states to choose their own security arrangements and alliances. We've addressed the possibility of reciprocal transparency measures regarding force posture in Ukraine, as well as measures to increase confidence regarding military exercises and maneuvers in Europe. Uh, and we address other areas where we see potential for progress, including arms control related to missiles in Europe, our interest in a follow-on agreement to the New START Treaty that covers all nuclear weapons, and ways to increase transparency and stability. How significant is the insider threat to President Zelensky and his government? This is, again, part of the, uh, the Russian playbook. It's something we are very focused on. Um, and uh, this is why we've been speaking about it. Uh, we've raised this publicly uh, in recent weeks. We want to put people on notice and on guard that mm -hmm. this is something Russia could do, just as we talked about the possibility of a so-called false flag operation where Russia creates right. a provocation inside of Ukraine, use that as justification uh, to take aggressive action. Middle East. When Iran threatened, the president approved a strike that killed the Iranian terrorist Qasem Soleimani. This is the man most responsible for the murder and maiming of hundreds of American soldiers and thousands of Christians across the Middle East. And you'll recall, too, that when the president took office, radical Islamic terrorists had beheaded Americans, and ISIS controlled a territory in the size of, the size of Great Britain. Today, today, because of the president's determination and leadership, the ISIS caliphate is wiped out. It's gone. Its evil leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, is dead. And our brave soldiers, they're on their way home. Y si vamos a sancionar a PDVSA, que, que afecta su capacidad tan limitada como sea, uh, de hacer el negocio petrolero tendrá un impacto al, al, al pueblo entero, uh, al ciudadano común y corriente uh, de las comunidades de Venezuela. Pero el contraargumento en este momento es que ellos ya sufren tanto de falta de alimentación, de falta de seguridad, de falta de medicina, de falta de salud pública, uh, que en este momento quizás uh, la, la mejor resolución sería acelerar el colapso aunque sea, uh, aunque produzca un, un periodo de, uh, de sufrimiento mayor por un periodo de meses o quizás años. Eso por lo menos es el, el, el argumento en términos de por qué no hoy, uh, por qué hemos esperado tanto.
Боевой курс 45 градусов. Глубина полсотни метров. Учебная ракетная атака. Личному составу не бучи два. Покинуть четвертый и пятый отсеки. Создать рубежи обороны. На кормовой переборке третьего отсека. На собой переборке от пятого биса отсека. Объединен запас ВВД. Есть. Закончен переключение в ВВД. Давление в системе ВВД гидравлики в норме. Есть нормальные условия старта. Есть нормальные условия старта. Есть старший помощник командира. Внимание, расчет, получен приказ. Вожу приказ. Приготовиться к местным действиям. Внимание, контролируем состояние пусковых установок. Принял. Prevent Russia from developing relations with EU countries individually. Ratchet up NATO, strengthen EU defense to deter Russia, sanctions and international investigations and so on. Much of the information is false, misleading and one-sided. We surround Russia with NATO bases and we call them the aggressor. We support opposition groups and we accuse them of foreign interference. The European project is not being undermined and divided by Russia, but by the rank hypocrisy that is characterized in this report. And the only beneficiaries of this nonsense is the arms industry made fat on the profits of its hysteria. So would people ever calm down and cough on? We need to work diplomatically with our neighbors for a peaceful resolution of differences. Would you back off the Russia phobia? The last thing we need is a Cold War turning into a hot one. We absolutely reject the report in its entirety. Muchas gracias por escucharme nuevamente. Recuerden darle al me gusta y seguir la información diaria por la sección comunidad. Cada vez somos más. Somos, volaceros.